Alrighty guys, so this video is a little bit different because as I was making my hashtag Team Trees death run, I was told that someone else has already made a, a Team Trees death run. So it's a little bit awkward, but um, because of that, I have stopped making my death run, which kind of worked out because I really lost sight of where I was going with this death run. So it really, really worked out well. But for this video, I'm going to run through my Team Trees death run and then hop over to the other one, play it, and just have a great time. So welcome to my hashtag Team Trees death run. If you can spare anything, please donate at teamtrees.org. I'll have that linked down below in the description. Definitely check it out. And if you can spare anything, even just $1, definitely do it. Help us save this planet. And without further ado, uh, let's start off with the speed trap evading and with some foliage going on. Now there is an electrical trap thing right there. Not really a trap, but it's really easy to avoid. I was gonna make that a lot harder, but again, I kind of stopped making mine. So this bush right here is a sapling. So pick it up. You might see where this is, this is going. Let's get through this trap evading right here. Nothing too difficult. A little poison, stand there, you're good to go. Fake out this trap as well. And this is an interactive button where you have to have certain items. So if you look really closely, we have to have six of the saplings in order to get past this button. I'm gonna put one in right there. We only need five left. So let's go back to the checkpoint and just farm up five of these saplings. There we go. Now we have five. Let's go back to the button and see what happens if we press it with having all six put in there. Back out the poison trap, back out this trap. And then with the last five, boom, it opens up a door to the back and it says, congrats, you just planted six trees and those six trees are one, two, three, four, five, six, the smaller trees. So congratulations, you basically donated $6, $6 to teamtrees.org. So there we go. And if you keep going, you go through the teleporter, teleports you over here. You were just right there. Now we're here. Really cool new feature. And we're parkouring over some trees. You know, why not? You got to involve the trees some way, shape, or form. It's just how it is. Doing some good parkouring. Keep it going. I'm pretty sure the death barriers aren't even there yet. So if you if you fall, it, it wouldn't really matter. We're going to jump into the teleporter. Boom. And get teleported yet again to the very end of my death run. That's as far as I got. Like I said, I really lost sight of where I was going with this death run, but now that we are done with my death run, let's hop on over to the other one and see what it's like. Welcome to the Team Trees death run. That sounds familiar. Obviously, this is inspired by the 20 million tree donation goal going on from Mr. Beast, which at the time of recording this has over $11 million donated towards the foundation, which is absolutely amazing. I just got done with this video and I checked Team Trees again, and there's almost been another 100,000 since that picture was taken about an hour ago. That's insane. Elon Musk donated a million dollars. YouTube is doing a million dollars. The CEO of YouTube did $200,000. Literally everyone under the sun is getting involved into this donation goal and putting something forward. Wildcat, Ninja, Jeffree Star, obviously Elon Musk, Mr. Beast himself, PewDiePie, so many other names. I can't name them all. That would take a long time. That's like an old school Mr. Beast video right there but it, it's kind of nuts. So again, if you guys want to go down to the link in the description, check it out. If you can donate even $1, that's one tree. So every single bit helps. I myself am doing $20, nothing too much, nothing too little, but it is going to help in the end, which is all that matters. So this map in particular was made by Spatter or Humbier, as you guys know him. And he says his next map will be an open world death run and good luck and have fun. So we will do that. I'm not really too sure why there's fog going on in the, uh, the Team Tree's death run here, but I guess it's an aesthetical choice. I have heard that the fog we've been seeing in maps is actually a glitch and it's not supposed to be there. So if anyone can confirm that, if it's true or not, please let me know because if that, if that is true, then it would make a lot of sense as to why a few of the maps I've played recently I've had blinding light in my face that looks absolutely horrible. If you were at my stream yesterday, you know what I'm talking about. That was a very, very easy level. So 
On this one, it appears we have an impulse going to a pinball here. I'm guessing that'll take us over the trees. That would make the most sense. Let's try and land. Boom, perfect. Okay, well, we hit the ceiling. Oh, jeez. Okay, around the corner. How do I get up? Game. There we go. Oh, I thought I broke it. I thought I fell in the wrong spot. Okay, then we jump down, 360, and boom. Just like that, we're, we're just running through this death run. Um, the description did say simple and easy, so I'm assuming this is a default death run, which kind of makes sense. <gasps> oh, we didn't die. As I was saying, it really makes sense, though, because oh, I cannot do this jump. There we go, finally. <laughs> I forget what I was saying. Something about a default death run. But it should be easy, because why would a death run about a really good cause make you want to rage quit the map? It, it just would not make any sense whatsoever, which is why this is a default death run. And my goodness, the textures are really not loading in for me. What is going on? I don't even, is this a level? Oh, okay. I guess we're just checking out the uh, the cherry blossom tree right there. Works for me. <gasps> oh, we got Neos in the team tree's death run. Let's go. I'm gonna be very cautious because we could fall onto a different. Okay, well, we did not reset our checkpoint. That's good. <laughs> Round two on the Neos. I'm the Neo King. Should not be hard. Boom, just like that. Easy, simple, easy, simple. <laughs> oh man. There we go, got it done. Those were some very odd Neos because of how this curves as you're, as you're jumping into it. Either way, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I was debating about doing like every death equals a dollar towards the foundation, but because I saw that this was a default death run and because my death run wasn't even finished, I didn't think I would die that much in either of these maps or both of them combined, so it wouldn't have really made a ton of sense to do that, which is why I'm just doing the $20 straight up. So I think here we have to side jump and then momentum. Boom. Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, death barrier time. I'm gonna just do the left one because why not, right? We can just walk around it. Nope. Or not. Hello? How do I get out? Oh, it's a, it's a button. E, e, go, Justin. Okay, I thought I might have broken the map right there. I didn't want to have to try and do both the death barriers because that would be like impossible. I don't know how you even do that. Let's get the ice, get the speed, and evade the, oh my God. What if we just do this? That's how you do it. There we go, onto a bouncer. <laughs> oh my goodness, so easy. Why do I take the hardest paths first? And then it looks like we again don't have any traps going on here. We're just walking through and that's it. Unless we die. Oh, there we go, GG, you made it. There we go, guys. That was a super easy, super fun Team Trees death run. More maps soon. Send ideas over Twitter at Humbier. Shout out to Pro Hennis and Aesthetic Blitz for playing my maps. No problem, dude. You always have great ideas and you always beat me to them, like the swimming death run and then the Team Tree's death run. It's just, it's very weird and I'm not a fan of that, sir. Not a fan of that. And lastly, subscribe to Humbier on YouTube. So there you go, I'll have the link down below. But guys, those are the hashtag Team Tree's death runs. Again, mine wasn't really finished. If you want me to try and finish it, let me know in the comments down below, but at this point, it wouldn't really make too much sense to make another video on the map I just played. So, I don't know. Up to you guys. But again, if you want to, go to teamtrees.org and check it out. Again, if you can spare even just $1, it does help. Every single dollar helps because we're on that goal to $20 million by January 1st, 2020. So, we're nearing the end. But again, we're already over 11 million raised, which is so cool to see. And I wonder if we can go over 20 million. And if so, how far over can we go? So again, check it out if you want to, if you can. Go for it, if not, no big deal. But guys, if you enjoyed it, definitely drop a like, subscribe, and of course, share this video around. I highly appreciate that. Without further ado, I will talk to you all later. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Deep dab for the trees. And peace out. Can I get like, deep dab? Oh God, oh that hurt my back. Oh man, I'm so old. Oh, I'm still recording, that's awkward.